Hello YouTube, this is Lobo with the Stray Dog Mining Crew and I'm doing a second video in a series about how to do uh, basically research online using uh, government resources and Google Earth uh, to locate areas for prospecting. Uh, the first video I made was how to locate mines using the US Geological Survey. Uh, this one here is going to be how to actually figure out where there are active claims in a region, mineral claims, whether it be gold, copper, silver, whatever the case may be. And it's a little bit of a complicated process and I'm going to kind of go over it, kind of gloss over it really quick. Um, the claim system, you can look up claims online to see if an area has gold claims in it and who owns the claims, where the claims are located. The thing is, is the addressing system or the location system is called the public land survey system. And this is the way the western half of the United States was mapped. It's a, uh, well I'll zoom in here and show you in just a second what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on because this is what all of our lands, uh, whether public or private, are all based upon this public land survey system, the PLSS. Uh, you need to be online because it paints it uh, from a database online. So if you have a connection online, you can do this. Now, let's say that I want to search an area here. This area here, I want to look uh, before I was in Indian City where I'm hanging out. Um, this is a short distance, and then this line right here is the Arkansas River, which has is, is probably one of the most popular gold areas in the state of Colorado. So I definitely want to go there. But before I go there, I got to make sure that nobody else has claims because I don't want to be a claim jumper. I don't want to get shot, you know, as they as they say, if you will. So in this section here, this is a 36 square mile plot. Each one of these cubes is one square mile. This is what is that? 18 South, 72 West. Uh, this is part of the 6 p.m. meridian. This is something I know about the northern half of Colorado. And so you get this information, you plug this information into a database, and you can see where the claims are at. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit and kind of show you how this works. Let's see if it'll paint it in. Ah. There we go. Sorry, I'm still having adjusted to using a laptop mouse here. And when it comes up, you should see the numbering system. And so the top of the claim, the top of the township is what this is called, the 36 square miles. This square mile is section 1. Section 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then it drops down 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And it basically serpentines back and forth and goes through the 36 uh, sections that make up a township. And then within, let's just go into, let's say, 15 here. And then within 15, that uh, square divided up into quadrants and then up in here we have the northeast southeast southwest northwest and those are the directions that they use to identify so an address for something for example would be it's at 6th meridian 18 south 72 west section 15 northeast and it sounds very complicated um, but that would designate that this is this section here now each one of these cubes inside of the square mile those are 40 acres and so a section is going to have 160 acres. Anyway, I know it sounds kind of you know boring, mundane, whatever, but it's something you need to know if you're going to be looking online uh, to see who owns either uh, gold claims, mineral claims. You can look up where frackers are at. Um, you can look up private property, whatever, as long as you have these this mapping system. So, 18 South, 72 West. So I'm going to come over here to my browser. I go to the BLM website, the LR2000 website. I'll put a link below to it. I'm going to do run reports. And it's going to bring up a whole list of reports that you can run against uh, the public lands. Uh, oil and gas leases due to expire. Uh, um, we're in case recording, geothermal, oil and gas leases. So if you want to find out if there's any oil or gas exploration going on in your area, you can find it right here. So where they frack is not really secret if you know where to look, people. All right, so down here at the bottom, we're going to look at mining claims. There's a number of reports you can run. Each of them has serves their own purpose, but I'm going to do basically a nice generic one to get you started. And this is the Geo Index. Now, in the Geo Index, I need to know the state, and I need to tell them whether I'm looking for open or closed claims or both. And I'm going to select by the Meridian Township Range which is the PLS system and you can choose by others you can look in counties districts administrative offices but this is going to zero it into a specific region that that township there so once we've got that I've we need to select criteria I am in Colorado so my admin state is going to be Colorado my Meridian Township range so I know it's a 6th p.m. and this was what 82 south 
Oh, I've already forgotten. Let me go back to Google Earth now. So we're looking at 18 south, 72 west. So 18 south, and then 72 west. And I'm adding this to the list to search, and you can see that address looks like that. They put zeros in there. Um, it's, there, it's a Unix thing, I believe, is why it's, the format's that way. And if you wanted to, you could search multiple. You just change this number and keep adding it, and it'll, it'll search multiple townships, but we just need to search one. Case disposition. Now, on this, I'm going to click on active so we can see there's active goal claims, and those are places that will be off limits for prospecting. Now, it doesn't block the land off from me visiting it. I can camp on it, I can hunt on it, I can fish on it. But, because somebody else has the mineral rights, I wouldn't be allowed to prospect, uh, legally would not be allowed to prospect it. Um, the other thing to search for would be closed, and closed is really good to find areas where you know you can go find minerals because somebody had a claim there and they no longer have it, it's abandoned. So you can go there and you can collect minerals all you want, and you know there's a good chance you can find them because somebody else paid money to have a claim on it at one point. So we're just going to search for active because I want to go uh, prospect and Joy and I want to go look for gold on the Arkansas. So we have the state of Colorado, there's the township. We're just going to look for actives and then I'm going to select run report. Now this may take a minute here. And what this is going to do is it's going to give me a PDF file, probably a very long one, um, of all the active claims that are contained within this section. And then from that, once I find out where these active claims are using the PLSS system, I, it'll give me the address of where they're at. I can go into Google Earth and then in turn plot those on there, assuming that I can, huh, why did it not pull up what I was looking for? I'll try that again. That is a query, cannot be acquired. Because the service is down on the day I'm making a video about how to use a service. Come on, come on. Here we go. Uh, oh, and the BLM uh, websites and government websites, the Department of Interior, they take them down every night for two hours starting at midnight your local time. So, as we can see here, there are claims here that are active, and these are load claims. These are actual mine claims. That's not what I'm into. I'm into plasters, which is panning. This is into heavy mines. So, in Section 5 Northeast, there is one, two, three, four, five, six mines, uh, load mines there actively. So, if we come back over just to see where that's at. Section five, there's nine, eight, it should be right here. Because we have to be connected for the, the PLSS to work, it's going to regenerate right quick. And it comes up there, section five. And there's section five. So in this little 160 square acre plot of land registered with the federal government is six active mines that are located in this general area here. And I can see that from looking at, this is six, there's the 18 south, 72 west, section 5, and then the directional subdivision. And that's how you can kind of go in and uh, see if there's active claims in these particular sections. So I'm not going to bore you with the details of it, but there's multiple pages to it. Now what I've done is, is I've gone through and I've documented where these are at. So let me find my folder. Placerville, Colorado. And then within Colorado, it is Fremont County. And I should see a folder for 18 South 72. And I'm going to click on that to turn them on. And then from this here, there is one claim. If I, I mark them in green, if there are a claim that has been closed, it's a place that I can go to and look out. And I'm definitely going to check that out. And then I can see here, these are the current active placer claims that are on that section of the river that I want to look at. And there's a lot of them. So it looks like, wow, there is a lot of them there. So it looks like this particular part of the creek, there may not be anything, any area on this creek aspect. Now, as you can see here, all of these reds, let me see if I can, how do I do the tilt right? There we go. So this is the Arkansas River. And going down the Arkansas River, plotting these, I can see this is the Darcy claim. It was located in 2012. It, it was uh, adjudicated and approved on uh, in May. That's the number associated. It's 40 acre. That's the gentleman that has it. And here's the address to it. And so you can see there is pretty much all the way down this river where there's red. 
that means there are active claims. That means that I cannot legally go dig for gold there. I can hunt, fish, camp, do whatever I want. It's public lands that I can visit, but I can't take a shovel and start digging around for stuff. And so it tells me there may be a section right there. So I will dig into that a little bit to see there may be the Arkansas River that I can go into. In another video, I'm going to show you how you can verify that by using survey plats. That might be private property. I don't know. I can't tell from looking at this, so i got to dig deeper into it. But this will kind of help you identify areas where... Uh, there are active claims. Now the thing about the inactive claims are is down here there's these two gold claims that are kind of up in the mountains a little bit. This thing refreshes. This one here. This is a placer that was located in 1964 and the claim closed in 1986 and there's been no other activity there. This tells me, since there's no other active claims in this entire section, that I should be allowed to go there and to visit this this claim here, this green section, find a way into it, and then I should be able to to poke around and dig for gold because this is on public lands and nobody owns this uh, placer anymore. But it was one for gosh, 22 years, so they were pulling something out of here. So maybe something to check into. So I just want to kind of do a brief, you know, it's not really brief. I'm over 10 minutes here in the video, but just some of the tools you can use online. Now, what you would need to do is uh, if I can find it, I'll post a link here. But do a search on. PLSS or Public Land Survey plus KML. Uh, that's K as in Kilo, M as in Michael, L as in Lima. And a KML is a Google file. So you should be able to download this and plug it into Google. That way it'll draw the map for you. And then once again, you just simply go to the government website of the BLM LR2000, which I should have a link here. And go to this link here, then you run your reports. And as long as you have uh, what the PLSS system is, then you'll be able to read and identify these claims. Oh, and that's something I didn't do with you. I was going to show you right quick what that does. Let me run this report again. Sorry, y'all. Apparently I closed it. Or I can just go back. That's what I'll do. Sorry. Let's see if it'll load it. Here we go. So the, the, the important part I left out is if you want to know the details of these claims, you click on uh, the number, the claim number, and that will bring up the information on the actual mining claim itself. And so you can see from here it's a load claim. I'm looking for plasters, but this is a load. It's 20 acres. Name the barber. It's active. That's what they pay a year for it to maintain. It's 140. Here's the address. And then as you go down, if you want to know, you can see all of the things that occurred on that claim. Maintenance fees, yearly fees, uh, that's when it was adjudicated and they check the land status. That's kind of the important thing to look for to make sure it's been verified. But uh, So anyway, that's what the claim looks like. And then what I would simply do is I highlight all of this, right click it, copy, and then I go over to Google and let's say that that claim address was here. I go to the polygon and then I can simply, it's a 20 acre claim, so it'd be half of one of these 40 acre boxes. So I draw it out, I come over here to the untitled polygram, polygon, I paste in the information, and I like to put the name up there. So there's the name of it, and because this is an active claim, in my filing system, all active claims are red, and they're at 50%, so you can see through them and still see the uh, details underneath it, and then click OK. And so that's pretty much how I would plot them, and then by doing that, once I plot a whole section out, then I can get an overview of the map, and I have a really good idea that I can't go, and places that I can go and probably should go. So, in a nutshell, that's pretty much how you find out if an area has active claims or inactive claims. I know it's kind of complicated and there's a lot of steps in it, uh, but if you have any questions, send me a private message and I'll answer them as best I can uh, where I'm finding these resources and such. So anyway, that's, uh, that's the extent of it, how to find an active claim. Uh, and the next uh, video I'm going to put together is going to be on survey plats, how you can find those, and how you can actually put those into Google Earth and you can see all the way down to the township if an area is private property or public land so that you can... Uh, uh, prospect on this kind of important stuff. Anyway, that's uh, how to locate a claim uh, using the BLM LR2000. Uh, this is Lobo, a Stray Dog Mining Crew. Peace, love, and God bless.